is a giant stroller car seat combination. This is the car seat part. The handles go back by pushing these right here. It pulls back this way. This is the sunshade for the baby. The carrying handle? Yep, and the carrying handle. We're going to put it in the stroller. It faces this direction. And these parts right here snap into that. Which How'd you do it. that again? And I'll have to show you. This part is how you get it out of the base and off of the stroller. Mm -hmm. So these notches right here notch into the cup holders right there. And then it's latched in. You can put the handle back. And in rainy weather, you can close it up like this. Right, and there's a mask, isn't there, for the yeah. baby in the winter or something? Yeah, I'll show that later. And then you can see through when you've got them all latched in like that. <laughs> okay. All right, so then you pull that out to get the car seat out of it. You probably want to put the handles on first. And that pulls that loose. When the baby's bigger, they can sit in here. There's a little notch here to flip this up so you can get them in there easily. Back here, see if you can, if you don't want them laying flat, there's a little pull, this little pull latch to mm -hmm. adjust the seat. You want it to be, to put this, slide it there. These are the brakes on there. You don't want the baby rolling away. And those are the notches. For that, these are the handles to collapse the whole thing, which is far easier said than done. They're on both sides, I guess? Yeah, they're on both sides. Like I said, I'm not, not that good at this. snap that down. Watch out for the tray so that it's not in the way. And then there's this to latch it so it stays closed. Hopefully that doesn't break that latch. Yeah, that latch is looking like it's served more than it's time. And this front wheel has this little latch. Normally these wheels are fixed, but you, this one can adjust. right here mm -hmm. so that it's not fixed you can flip it up that way you can if you're in the mall or in the grocery store you can steer it more easily and then obviously the silver lever is to pull the wheel off yeah this, this is to pull the wheel off there's also you can pull this wheel off this way oh, okay. push that button. button yep so this button here mm -hmm. okay. so if you need, need it to be flat or flatter in the car, then you can pull those off for that part of the stroller. Latch it closed. Okay. And then this part depends a lot on your car. This is the car seat base. And the car seat latches into it very similarly. snaps in like that and then this handle is what you pull up to take it out and this part you're pretty much gonna have to read these instructions on how you latch it in if you've got the latch system in your car then you can connect it in and that's what this instruction is but it's going to depend on your car and how it works and this part is to adjust the angle of how it goes in to your car. Depends on how sloped your seat is. You may need it up more if it's more flat in the bench in the back. You may need to lever it down. And yeah, follow those instructions. Like I said, it depends so much on the car. Do these two connect together? Yeah, so this part you leave in the car so that you just can latch, assuming I can remember. Ah, nope, now I flipped it around. And it connects rear facing so that the baby should always be facing the back of the car. And you leave the bottom part in the car. Mm -hmm. And then you can take this part in and out 
and not have to try and buckle the whole car, car seat in. It makes things quite a lot faster. And the overall advantages of this system compared to the other ones that you were looking at? Um, the jogging strollers are definitely better in the snow. And this is collapsible enough that you can still theoretically fit it in the trunk of the car. And it's a jogging stroller too. So yeah, you... it's a jogging stroller so you can yeah. take it out running. Right. And 